Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. We know the importance of exercise, riding a bike, or even walking, how it helps strengthen the heart and the lungs by bringing in more oxygen so the cells of our body can become healthier. Although for the most of us, we do not spend time strengthening our lungs, particularly the diaphragm that helps the lungs work at its optimal performance. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped sheet of muscle that separates the chest from the abdominal region. It is the primary muscle that's used when breathing. Just like we have to strengthen our immune system to keep those foreign invaders out of our body by eating correctly and doing the right things, we need to strengthen our respiratory system, our diaphragm, those lungs that's allowing oxygen to get through our bloodstream into the cells of our body to keep us healthy and strong. Knowing how your lungs work is extremely important. Why? Because you're going to now tune in more to your body to take better care of it. Those pair of pyramid-shaped organs inside your chest allows your body to take in oxygen from the air. Those lungs are spongy texture. They're pinkish in color. The lungs bring oxygen in the body when breathing in and send carbon dioxide out of the body when breathing out. Carbon dioxide is a waste gas produced by the cells of the body. The process of breathing in is called inhalation and the process of breathing out is called exhalation. The lungs add oxygen to the blood and remove carbon dioxide in a process called gas exchange. And physiologically, this process is very complicated because it works through our nervous system. And it's the brain that makes all these different decisions as your brain controls your breathing based on your body's need for oxygen. Your respiratory system is just not the diaphragm and lungs. It includes the airways, the muscles, blood vessels, and tissues that help make breathing possible. When your diaphragm squeezes downward when you breathe in, it creates a vacuum that causes a rush of fresh air into your lungs. The opposite happens when you breathe out. Your diaphragm relaxes upward, pushing on your lungs, letting them deflate. There are two simple exercises that I'm going to share with you that will strengthen that diaphragm as well as your lungs to make your breathing more efficient to keep you healthier and happier. The first one is called lip pursed breathing. We're going to breathe in from our nose and we're going to blow it out of our mouth. Although, whatever amount of time it takes to breathe in your oxygen in your nose, you're going to put your lips together like this and breathe out like causing restriction in your abdominal area to strengthen your diaphragm. But you're going to exhale twice as long as you inhale. So if I'm going to inhale through my nose, let's say five seconds, I'm gonna put my lips together and blow out my mouth and exhale for 10 seconds. And while doing so, slightly contract your abdominal area, which will help strengthen your diaphragm. Now this last exercise is diaphragmatic breathing, or what we call belly breathing. We want to focus on breathing from our belly than compared to our chest muscles. Most of us, when we're stressed and upset, we start breathing more from our chest, which is not healthy. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our hand, either hand, and put it below your chest area onto the abdominal area where it's soft. And you're going to breathe in through your nose. And as you breathe in, I only want you to feel your abdominal region, your stomach area going outwards, not your chest, just your stomach area. Breathe in through the nose and you'll feel your belly expanding. Now you'll breathe out of your mouth. You do not have to keep your lips closed. And when you breathe out of your mouth, concentrate on bringing that abdominal region back towards your spine as you release those gases from the lungs 
and you will feel your stomach going inwards towards your spine. And you're going to do that about two to three times longer than what you inhaled. So if I'm going to inhale five seconds through my nose, you'll feel your abdominal area come out. Hold it. You'll blow out of your mouth at least 10 to 15 seconds. That's getting rid of that stale air that's contracting the diaphragm and the muscles around it to make them stronger. Practice both of these exercises daily. It will only take you five minutes. You'll notice within the first week, tremendous progress in your breathing. It would be wise that everyone should practice these exercises. To be on guard, to make sure our lungs stay strong and work at its most optimal level. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.